Thanks for staying with us. Now, in 1962, John F. Kennedy famously said, those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Now, October 10, 2020 is a day that Nigerian youth will not forget in a hurry as the world witnessed a peaceful protest turned to the alleged mass murder of unarmed youth. Now, I say allegedly because there is still a judicial panel ongoing of inquiry that is currently on going to hear all parties before reaching a conclusion. Now, this Lagos State Judicial Panel on Restitution for Victims of SARS-related Abuses and Other Matters recently okayed the Lecky Concession Company to reopen the toll, and this sparked a fresh protest threat. Hence, you have the hashtag Occupy Lecky Tollgate, hashtag Defend Lagos, hashtag There No Born Your Papa Well trending. So my question tonight is, is protesting the best approach to alleged injustice? And should there be a fresh protest? What will be um, the possible outcome? Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 We'll open our phone lines much later, but we just want to get your thoughts first. So let me come to you, Tammy. Right. Um, you went through the, uh, what's it called, the, all the hashtags, all the trends on Twitter. Can you help us break down what brought about these um, hashtags on Twitter today? Okay, so as you rightly said, I think you already gave a background to it. So the panel of inquiry said that, you know, they decided that the Lekki Gate should be reopened. Now, following this, some Nigerian you took to Twitter to say that, no, that is wrong. You know, there's still a pending discussion here. There's still a pending matter about whether or not, or who is at fault, and, you know, the rest of the issue, the killing of protesters, you know, who were just doing that innocently and who were doing that without anything wrong, who were just, uh, what's the word now, who were not armed. Armed, right? unarmed, yeah. So this discussion, yeah, who were unarmed, yes, that's the right word. So this, you know, following this, this youth have said, you know what, we will protest against the reopening of the Lekki toll gate. And this is this protest is scheduled for 10th of this month, that's Saturday. Mm -hmm. So that's how the first hashtag came about. Hashtag, um, let me compare the hashtag. hashtag occupy the Lekki toll gate. Toll gate. Mm. Yes, hashtag occupy Lekki toll gate. Now, there is, there's such an argument on Twitter now. So this first hashtag said, we're going to protest against the opening of the toll gate until justice is being served, until we get a decision by this panel, because the panel is yet to come to a final decision. And so we even today found another hashtag on Twitter, and this hashtag is hashtag Defend Lagos. Mm -hmm. Now, this hashtag Defend Lagos is a counter, you know, a counter, um, a counter protest. A counter hashtag to the hashtag Occupy Lekki Token, which is saying that they are the narrative of hashtag Defend Lagos is that the people who want to protest, you know, who want to protest should be, you know, sort of like disturbing the peace of Lagos. And the Defend Lagos people are taking it upon themselves to say the last time there was a protest, some people, some um, food lords hijacked it and they destroyed it. Because if you see the picture, it will display the picture. Like, if you see a picture of the hashtag. Um, defend Lagos. Defend so they Lagos. put the pictures they of the destroyed parts of Lagos. That were destroyed, mm -hmm. Like shop right, you know, you see those. So they are putting that up and saying that we are defending Lagos. And we're defending Lagos. The question is from whom are you defending Lagos? So they seem to be saying that they are defending Lagos from the unharmed protesters who will be protesting on the 13th of this month again. So this is, there's not like a big back and forth here. That's the also, that's also the hashtag that says, um, them papa no, them no born them papa well, your papa well, that's saying that you, you dare not try to protest there. We're going to come out and we're going to defend Lagos from you. So it's like a one team of people saying that we want there to be a protest against the reopening of the Lagos toll gate or the Lekki toll gate. And another team saying that we don't want it and we are going to stop you from you know from that from your protest so yeah and then you find another group of people who um 
on Twitter again, who are making comments such as that, you know, the the hashtag Occupy, Occupy Lekki Tollgate is pushed by Igbo people. And they are putting up sentiment, ethnic sentiment on social media now, linking it up to IPOB, linking it up, saying that, you know, it's the Igbo people mm -hmm. who, you know, initially destroyed Lagos and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I mean, reading through all of these narratives and different thoughts, I'm trying to find out where did that come in? Because that is even the most, for me, that's even the most, um, the most, the saddest of it all. Because we're then bringing ethnic differences, but we're then bringing in differences of, um, you know, you're, you're this group, um, Igbo and Yoruba, and now you see people fighting, and, you know, I saw someone's tweet saying that it's the Igbo people, and there's someone responding and saying it's Yoruba people, and there's now some division. A group that was initially united and saying that we're going to protest and do some of this, it's now becoming, first of all, we're defending Lagos from you protesting, and again, we're defending um, Lagos from Igbo people who would like to, I don't know, who like you to know, destroy that's Lagos. narrative here. So um, there's some ethnic sentiment absolutely. that is being used on social media at the moment. Absolutely. Thank you so much for breaking it down. So I want to come to Olamide, right? You see, because when I also saw, saw all of these things, I was wondering in my head, is this not like all, all of us being... Uh, foolishly going back to our vomit. We've tried protests, right? It ended in a way where some people now came and they were decided, I mean, they, they, they allowed themselves to be used as thugs to go and disrupt certain things. And now all of a sudden, the protests have not even started and there is already a war. First of all, the people are saying that they want to go and occupy. The next person is saying that, no, they're not born you well. We're going to defend our Lagos state from you and some people are also saying even this demo they're not born you well it's also like if they born you well come and stop us from protesting because some people is is on both quarters that third hashtag so is already is this not already a failure waiting to happen it is not already a catastrophe waiting to happen let me come to Lamy. let me hear your thoughts on this <laughs> sorry Uwa, i'm laughing over this clearly Clearly, Uwa, it's a tact tactic. And I can tell you that, you know, the third part of the, the introduction of the tribal sentiment and all that. Yes. I can tell you without any fear of, contra of contradiction that is sponsored by the government. Hmm. Don't forget that at the first, when this was going to happen in 2020, October 2020, there was one thing that helped that protest would last that long mm -hmm. and the success of it at the initial stage. It was the unity of purpose. Absolutely. Everybody was on the same page. Mm -hmm. And whether it was Igbo, you know, Yoruba, and everybody had a common goal and it even spread over to other states. But the government is not a fool. They are also watching. So how do they, con how, how do they, they have to bring division. That's a first tactic. It's just a tactic. If there is no common purpose, there is no unity of purpose. How is it going to happen? So already has failed from from well, from the, the word go. So I don't see how they are going to record any success with this because the government is also looking at ways to fail it. So if we bring division into their midst, it will not be a success. So I, I don't know how it's going to happen on Saturday. And before we went on on air, I was asking you that what team do you belong to? Hmm. I have looked at both sides and I'm conflicted, to be very honest with you. I don't know which side to take because both sides have valid points. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on how we want to pick it. Do you want me to go ahead or you come back? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. So from the angle of the Occupy Lagos target, I really understand the fact that... Um, What's it called? Um, investigations is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. Investigation is, is not concluded. And the number of people that voted at the, at the, um, at the panel bring, introduces a lot of questioning. There were nine of them. Five, five voted, voted four. four. Five and four, four against. people did not vote. Mm. What, what I found... Um, Saddening for me was if you look at it, Lagos State Panel is the only active panel out of all the 36 states that were supposed to set up a judicial panel of inquiry. 
-hmm. A lot of them did not set it. A lot of them, a lot of governors promised, some of them at a very slow pace, some had not even sat for you for once. So Lagos State is the only one that was has been actively, you know, doing this. So for this to now happen at this time and has brought division, it's really, really sad thing for me. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if they are going to they can go back because this is a ruling. He has not brought he has not brought the inquiry to an end. So I don't know how they will now uh, go back and continue. Okay, so sitting. let us stay on and the my hashtag. Question, sorry, Uwa. Okay. Sorry, Uwa. But now my question is, because I don't know how it was formed. I've not seen how um, how the, the, uh, the panel was formed. So I won't be able to, to say anything on how, the quorum. But I doubt it if five over nine would form a quorum. Okay, so let, us stay, so let us stay on the hashtag Occupy Lekki Togate because that is the foundation of the other hashtags that came up. You understand? It was based on hashtag Occupy Lekki Togate that became that an offshoot of the hashtag Defend Lagos and the other one came about. So let me let me stay on that hashtag, Lami. Both of you are lawyers. I'll come to you, Tammy, first, then I'll hear Lami's uh, thoughts. Both of you are lawyers. Is it even right? The fact that that business premises, because it's a business place, you know, they, they collect money there, they make, um, they make money there, that there was an investigation, I mean, sorry, there was a crime, alleged crime that happened there where people died, right? People died at that spot. Is it right for them to even reopen while the investigation is still ongoing, legally? Can, can it happen? Because I know for a fact that if, for instance, I have a place that I am renting and the landlord now comes to say there is a problem and we drag ourselves to court, that place is usually shut down. I can't transact business, neither can the landlord let it out until the case is over in court. That is usually the, 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 the proper situation. So let me hear your legal angles to this. Is it even right for them to reopen the toll gate while investigation is still ongoing? Let me come to Tammy, then I'll come to Lamy. Okay, so let's first of all look at it legally. So now you gave an instance, for example, you have a you have a land or a house or something, and you know it's in dispute, and you go to court or you go to a panel of inquiry or whatever it is case in, in different circumstances. At that point, the best idea would be that parties should remain as they are. You know, everything should remain as it is, mm -hmm. so that the court can make a decision of. But the court has power, if you're asking, like, legally, the court does have power to grant you, you know, that right to, when, for example, in the meantime, if you prove that, oh, there's, this thing is affecting so, so, and so, so in the meantime, we want to reopen. So, yes, the court does have that right. But the question now, which I think is a very important question that Lamy was raising at the tail end of our conversation, is that this panel of inquiry, did they have the right quorum? That to me, just before I came. Oh, sugar, are we losing Tammy? Oh, <laughs> I think we're losing Tammy. Okay, if I can quickly quick come in. Come in, yes. Yeah. Come in, Lamy. Okay, okay, I'm so, back. Okay, okay, Lamy, hold on. Let Tammy finish. Yeah, go ahead, Tammy. Tammy, okay, are you. Okay, so ordinarily, to be like, let parties remain at they are right that's what i was saying i'm not sure if you heard that part yeah let, I heard that part. Mean, let the status quo be maintained mm -hmm. right but the court does have, a, have the right to also say you know what let so so and so be done in the interim now what the question now is in this particular situation the, the panel of inquiry was the one that had the power to say whether or not they should sorry Ua, can you hear me i can hear you go ahead please So in this situation, the panel of inquiry was the one that had the right to um, make such a decision, to my mind. And they made this decision. But I think the major issue now, for me, the major issue is whether or not they actually, five out of nine, whether it is enough quorum to make such a decision in this matter. Because logically, what would seem to me as will the rest of other people who are thinking about this, what would seem right to me would be that the proceedings should be ended because I'm wondering how long should these proceedings go for in the first place? The proceedings should end 
and it would it, it, it the, you know the lucky toll gate being shut actually is good reason for everyone to be on their feet to want this proceedings to go on quickly and mm. to come to an end and there should be a decision mm -hmm. but it being open in the middle just raising the other issues that we are looking at now i, I think this is just my thoughts on this i'd like to hear from Lamy. okay so let me go ahead please okay um your question was considering the fact that that lucky talk Gate Plaza was designated like a crime, crime scene. scene. Mm. So ordinarily, a crime scene should be condoned off, and until investigations are over, it shouldn't be open to the public. But in this case, it's going to be different, and it's different because it serves um, a public. It's of major, major public interest concern. Mm -hmm. So there is no. It's going to work a lot of hardship if it remains shut. But my, my take on this will be, I do not think that we can still label that Lekki Toll Plaza as a crime scene, because don't forget that immediately at the aftermath of it, there were some investigations that were carried out. The place was cleaned up. By Detective um, Fashola. The minister allegedly <laughs> found, um, hey, sorry, yeah, actually, for a fact, the minister found uh, um, a, camera. Uh, a camera and all that. <laughs> I would say that you can no longer designate it as a crime scene because the whole place has been cleared off. So even if there was going to be any evidence to be found, it all vanished now. It's been eliminated. So mm. I don't think that that place can still be designated a crime scene. Mm. Lami, I want to argue with you on that um, yeah. lively, uh, hardship and all of that. Do you know that since the toll gate, uh, they stopped collecting tolls, I have not seen traffic on that road. Both on the Koi Bridge. Ooh, and you the what I oh, mean. wait. Now let me no, finish. You say on untold hardship. That's who has own hardship. <laughs> that's our own hardship. That's my hardship. Because no. on that road, the traffic was hell. You know, when they stopped collecting tolls. That's the only that's the only plus I see. But I understand that people let me get, people's livelihood, right? But even at that, the money that that was being collected from the toll, what exactly is the government? Have they even said, you know, I think the argument should have been Government coming to say, you know what, X, Y, Z revenue that we have lost in the number of times that this uh, number of uh, months that this uh, toll has been shot would have done X, Y, Z in terms of infrastructure or in terms of, you know, what, making life better. Oh, but they have not done that. We don't oh, even God. know what the money that they collect oh, from that toll does for us as Lagosians. I don't know. I'm just asking. Today, oh, I'm just oh, asking oh, questions. Oh, I can I say something? Hold on, hold on. When Maybe I said... Said... Shutting down that toll gate for work hardship on Lagosians. I am not saying they should return back. What I'm saying, you said as a crime scene, ordinarily it should have been shut down. And I'm trying to clarify that you can't shut that place if you shut it down. I'm not saying the workers should resume. It's different. Now we can all use it because it's been opened. If it was shut down, how are we going to commute? How are we going to commute? That's mm. what I'm saying. Mm. So you can no longer designate it as crime scene because it's been open to the public. If okay, it was so shut to the public because of investigation, on that road. how are we going to commute? Okay, I get you. So I that's get what you. I was saying. It would work a lot of hardship on the ocean. I get you. I get you. Um, um, Tammy, come in. You wanted to come in. Yeah, I mean, there's a question that is on my mind. I don't know if anybody can help answer it. Um, So since this protest, right, since this NSAS protest and the other things that have come up, now the bank account of protesters that was frozen have they been in quotes on frozen for everyone for all the protesters that were involved because if the panel has not um yet ruled that the bank account should be on frozen you know and it is causing hardship to those people i i don't see why then we should put another party's interest above one party i mean that's just one thought that you know speaking to a friend today and she brought up that well, well, perspective me. those protesters i think it, yes please let me i think i'll um defer on that with you don't okay, forget that me. the panel had been ongoing before the issue of freezing the account or no freezing the account happened and don't forget it was not as a directive of the panel it's a policy from the CBR which the panel doesn't have 
powers over. So I don't think we should model it together. So yeah, but the, like, what I'm saying is that, that yeah, but let me what I'm saying is that in the light of that, to do justice in this case, I'm of the opinion that they should also in because it is the CBM that made that directive. But in the light of that, to be seen to be fair to anyone, whether I'm, or not they were let me, I'm, I'm with to, you know, the policy. Let me. I think that place should still be locked. I'm, I'm with Temi on this. Let me, but we'll take a break. Let me, don't, don't, don't respond yet, because I know you want to respond. <laughs> Let's take a break, a very short break. We'll be right back and we'll open the phone line. Stay with us.